let's check out the new Symphonisk speaker, which combines a smart speaker as well as a lamp. Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Apple Insider, and no, I did not just stick a bowl on top of my HomePod and create a new device. This is actually part of the new Symphonisk speaker line, a partnership between IKEA and Sonos that brings Sonos's awesome audio and IKEA's taste for design to make functional audio products. This is what we're gonna check out today and go hands-on in this review. So let's go ahead and kick things off and dive right in. So this is it. This is the IKEA and Sonos Symphonisk lamp. It combines the speaker as well as a light into one handsome product. Ports are pretty limited. On the back, you have an ethernet port with a fairly large cutout and a spot for the power cord to connect. Power cord is wrapped in nylon and looks fairly presentable compared to a cheap run of the mill cable. It uses an E12 bulb, a standard candelabra style light. One is included in the box and unfortunately it doesn't work with any smart home appliances like HomeKit or SmartThings. So if you want to use this in your smart home, you're going to need to add a HomeKit or other smart bulb, such as those from Philips Hue or even IKEA has some trade free ones that work with HomeKit. It gets covered in a glass dome, which can get warm if you're using a higher wattage bulb. Luckily there are safety precautions here such as automatically shutting off if it gets too warm. It's controlled via a knob on the side which has a solid click as you turn it from position to position. Other controls consist of volume up and down and a play pause button located on the front of the speaker, which is used not only in the pairing process but anytime you have music played back as well. The light is a little bit dim, we could use a little bit brighter, but if you're using this in a bedroom or for some additional ambient lighting, then it's not too bad. Still, not including HomeKit support seems like a missed opportunity, especially since IKEA already works with HomeKit for Trade Free and Sonos works with HomeKit for AirPlay 2. Setting up the speaker is as easy as any other Sonos speaker, because it has those Sonos guts, so it's all done right through the Sonos app. It's a fairly painless procedure, involves naming the device, updating it, registering it, and tuning it with TruePlay. Then it works with every other Sonos product, it can be grouped together, and you can stream from various services. By default, there are a few in there, but you can go through the list and there are a ton of music services like iHeartRadio, Apple Music, Audible, Spotify, SiriusXM, and a whole lot more. Of course, it also works with Apple's AirPlay 2 and HomeKit, which means two things. One, you can use AirPlay 2 for multi-room capabilities with any other AirPlay 2 speakers you may have, the name Muso, the Libertone Zip 2, really any other AirPlay 2 speaker will work, including the HomePod. Secondly, you can control it via Siri, ask Siri to play the music, pause the music, play music in a certain room or on a certain speaker, all of that can be accomplished. With iOS 13, speakers can even be integrated into HomeKit scenes. Our favorite application is, like we did with our bookshelf speakers, is using two lamps together to create a 5.1 surround sound with something like the Sonos Beam, creating a really immersive experience. Unfortunately, you can't mix and match speakers for that, so you do need to pick up two lamps if you want that 5.1 surround sound. Sound quality was also great. It sounds like a Sonos, even with some substantial bass, though not nearly as much as HomePod. We were really impressed, combining both the functional light with the sound. We just wish there's some more smart home capabilities built in. So that is it. That is the Symphonisk speaker that combines the smart speaker and the light together into one device. I'm very, very curious to hear what all of you guys think. So please let me know down below in the comments or just reach out to me directly at Andrew underscore OSU on Twitter. I'd love to continue the conversation.